guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It is nine o'clock on Wednesday, which means it's time for a Hidden Gems. Uh, this is where I take a particular trick or a product or uh, an item out of an online lecture and I shine a light on it. I tell you guys about it, so, uh, point out something that you might not have seen and tell you where you can get it from. I'm so passionate about doing this on the channel because I mention this every single week, but we stand on the shoulders of giants. Uh, some of the best tricks that I perform in my act were created 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. And a lot of the new people that get into magic, they don't see those tricks. Uh, they just don't see them. They see the latest and greatest thing, which generally involves a flap and some elastic thread. And they miss out on, on some of the older routines that are brilliant. Now, in the old days, this never happened. Because in the old days, like one trick came out a month or something and it was given time to breathe. But now that's not the case. New tricks come out like every day. So because of that, you've barely got time to keep up with what's coming out that's brand new, let alone what came out like years ago. So a lot of the new people that are coming into magic aren't finding out about the older tricks, even though they are awesome. And today I'm actually going to highlight to you uh, a trick I've talked about once before on this channel. It's one of my favorite routines. Anybody who's been a, a kind of a viewer of Magic TV for any length of time will know that I love packet tricks. I've kind of got a bit of an obsession with packet tricks, to be honest. I love them. And for me, this is one of the best packet tricks that's ever been created. Now, <clears throat> it's called Stickman Times Four by Richard Sanders. And uh, I'll tell you exactly where I learned it from. I learned it from the, the Richard Sanders show. Now, the Richard Sanders show was a set of three DVDs uh, that came out many, many years ago. And it those three DVDs still to this day contain some of the most commercial magic that has ever been created. Now, I know that's a big statement and I am a huge Richard Sanders fan, but I mean it. Genuinely crazy good material on the Richard Sanders show. And, uh, and and this is one routine of many that was on the Richard Sanders show. Now, if anybody knows Richard Sanders' material through the years, he's kind of got a bit of an obsession with uh, with Stickman, at uh, Stickman, as has uh, uh, Jay Sankey and David uh, David Acker and all of those guys from Canada that were kind of around at the same time. They've all got a bit of an obsession with Stickman. This, for me, is the best Stickman trick has ever been created, and that comes from somebody who also has uh, created stickman tricks over the years. This is incredible. Now, the, the, I'll be honest with you, the, uh, the Richard Sanders show DVDs are very hard to come by. You can still find them on eBay and Amazon. And, uh, you know, I was only speaking to someone a few weeks ago that said that they found them uh, in a secondhand magic group on Facebook. Uh, so they are out there. You can get them. Um, but they're few and far between. Outside of this project, outside of the Richard Sanders show, I don't think that Richard Sanders has put them anywhere else. Uh, I don't think that this routine has been published anywhere else. Now, I know from speaking to Richard a few months ago, he is planning on re-releasing some of the stuff off the Richard Sanders show, so maybe this will be one of them, because it does use gaffed cards, it would make an incredible standalone packet trick. But as it stands, the only place you can learn it is the Richard Sanders show. Now, the way I do it is slightly different, to be honest. The handling at the beginning of the routine is different, and I'll talk about that a little bit later. But first of all, I'm going to give you a performance. So here it is. This is a performance of me doing uh, kind of a slight technical variation uh, of Stickman Times 4 by Richard Sanders. Let's have a look. I'm here with Matt. How you doing, Matt? Yo. Now, you've watched a lot of magic over the years. A little bit. So I'm going to teach you a trick. I'm actually going to, I'm going to show you a trick, and I'm going to teach you how it works. Okay. And this is called a packet trick because it uses a small packet of cards. Right? It's not a card trick, it's a packet trick. Okay. Uh, because I don't play with a full deck, as you well know. It's been said. And as well as that, these cards are all the same in that they're all uh, red backed and they're also the, all the Ace of Diamonds. I've got four cards. Uh, this one here is Ace of Dim Diamonds number one. Uh, this one here is Ace of Diamonds number two. Uh, this one here is Ace of Diamonds number three. And this one here, you can guess what the last one is. Come on, have a guess, Matt. Ace of Diamonds, number four. four. Congrats. I mean, you're just getting really good at this. Your observation yeah. skills are just like second to none. So we're going to use four aces. One, two, three, four. You're also going to need for this um, a, a magic wand. Now, do you carry magic wand around with you? I can't say that I do. Don't worry about it. I have a pen. You can do that. Excellent. Now, the idea is really simple. 
I'm just going to put the Ace of Diamonds right there in that position, face up. So there's one of the Ace of Diamonds face up, the other three are face down, yeah? Yeah. I'm going to push it in. All you have to do is tap. Two taps, one hot, one cold. Very good. That's the magic. You see, what happens is the, uh, the Aces are all face down. But if you tap again, give it two taps. Give it two more taps. Now what happens is the Ace turns face up. It's a good trick, right? Turns face down, turns face up. It's pretty good. Now, I'm going to teach you how it works. First of all, you know I said this is the magic wand? Yeah. Nothing to do with the trick. I was That's called presentation. One Excellent. day I'll teach you about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all to do with the fact I have a hidden assistant. Now, a lot of people think that the only assistants that are used are in stage shows and illusion shows. I've actually got a hidden assistant that helps make this trick work. Uh, now, I'll show you. He's, he's hiding on the cards. His name's Bob. You can't see him until uh, I snap and then he becomes visible. You can probably see him. He hides on the back of that ace. <laughs> there he is. That's, that's Bob right there. Hi, Bob. Now, now, now uh, there's no other Bobs, uh, but, but I only need one Bob to do the trick. But sometimes you'll need more. Uh, Bob brings his mates because sometimes it's a little bit difficult. If I need another one, what I'll do is I'll take Bob and I'll just do this. And when I do, I get two Bobs. <gasps> now, that's Bob number one. Bob, and it, it, look, rub it. It doesn't come off. No. No. Now let's try this again. You see, all I have to do is wave my hand over and snap, and now we've got Bob number one, Bob number two, and Bob number three. This is the third Bob. <laughs> um, uh, the last, uh, you can get a Bob on the last ace. It's quite difficult. First of all, you have to do the trick with it. Now, the trick, if you remember, is to turn the ace over. When the ace turns... What the hell? Yeah, when the ace turns over, that wasn't me. That was Bob number four that did that one. So now we've got four bobs. One, two, three, four, four bobs. <gasps> but I'll tell you something about the four bobs. They're also stunt men. They're not just magician's assistants. They also are a synchronized stunt team. Would you like to see? <laughs> Shut up. I'm serious. They spent years practicing this stuff. Yeah. They do the assisting the magician gig on the side, but that's not what they really love. They really love doing their stunt move. Would you like to see the stunt move? Yeah. Okay. Uh, give me a number between one and four. Three. Okay, one, two, three. That would be Bob number two, which is confusing because you said three, but whatever. So we'll take this one. Can you just pinch him right there? Uh, uh, very good, really tightly. Are you ready for the stunt move? Yeah. It's going to happen. They're going to jump. All three of them are going to jump. These three. One, two. Are you ready? Yeah. Look at that. And they all <laughs> jump right there onto the same card. And that's their stunt move, man. That's, that's, that's what they do. Where did the bobs go? They're there on the card. <laughs> That's their stunt move. That's what they do. That's an it's epic. Done the stunt move. That's their job. There, so there you go, guys. That is the uh, that's Stickman times four. Now, very quickly, let's talk about why I love this routine so much. Um, first of all, it's it's not like a normal packet trick. Uh, I love the very clean displays that you have in this routine, and there are very clean displays. You know, you you, you see the backs of the cards all of the time and yet one by one the stick men appear on the backs of the cards and and I love the premise of hey let me show you a trick now let me explain exactly how it works love that absolutely love that um, um, now in terms of the actual appearance of the four uh, the four stick men each appearance is so magical, you know. You've got the paintbrush change with the second stick man. You've got to, it. Just it just all flows together so nicely. Uh, now that I said it was a slight technical variation, the only thing I didn't like about the original Stick Man Four routine is the display of the four of a kind at the beginning. Now Richard uses four jokers. I use four uh, aces. But at the beginning, he uses a frustration counter because of how the cards are gimmicked. Um, there's a moment that kind of feels a little bit dodgy when he does the uh, when he does the uh, false count, um, and and I've spoken to other magicians about this, and it's a it's a moment that they're not too keen on as well. Unless you're very careful, there is a chance you can flash. Now, what I did to change that around for anybody who knows Stickman Four, and I don't think I'm giving anything away. I'm not going to explain how the routine works, but for anyone who has got Stickman Four, I've eliminated that by adding an extra card the same sort of gaffed card that's being used through the rest of the routine. And I do a diminishing um, count at the beginning. So I do a diminishing uh, lift sequence, which allows me to do a very clean display of the four ace of diamonds or jokers, if you're doing the original Richard Sanders version. And then it allows me to do a very clean frustration count 
without actually having to have that kind of dodgy-ish move at the end. Now, the downside, there's always a trade-off. There's always a trade-off. When you're tinkering around with effects, there's always a trade-off. The trade-off for me is I now have to ditch a card uh, because the way that I actually did that is I added an extra card in order to get the diminishing lift sequence. So now, before I go into Richard's routine, I have to uh, eliminate a card. And I do that by going into my pocket to get a pen. And, uh, and that's the moment where I get rid of the card. And then once I'm in that situation, I'm, I'm, I'm as I was with the rest of the routine. It then follows Richard's original routine. So for anyone who likes that handling and wants to incorporate that, you're more than welcome. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a great routine. Now, I've spoken to people in the past who do this and they've turned around to me and they've said, you know what I don't like? I don't like the fact that the cards aren't examinable at the end. Well, it's true that the cards aren't examinable to a point. They also are. What I mean by that is at the end of the routine, they're holding the card with the four stickmen on it and you've got the three cards that don't have stickmen. The cards you're holding can't be examined, but the card that they are holding can be examined. And this is an example of Richard's genius routining because at that point, all anyone wants to look at is that card. They want to see where all the stickmen have jumped onto. And that's the card that they can examine. And what I typically do is I just put the rest of the cards away in my pocket. It's out of sight, out of mind. Nobody really cares about those cards at that point. They care about the card that, uh, that, that, that's been examined. Now, the other thing that I do is I prepare like 10 cards because I give those cards away. The card that's got the four stickmen on it, I give it away. And I have like a few cards in my top pocket so I can then immediately just, it takes a five second reset, I can add another card and I'm good to go again. So every single time I do it, I'm giving away the card with the, uh, with the four stickmen on it. Um, but there you go. It's an incredible packet trick. Uh, it's really worth learning. No table required, no real angle uh, restrictions to, uh, to speak of. Uh, relatively easy to do. It's just basic moves, really, to make the whole routine work. And it's very, very different. Works for kids, works for adults, uh, plays big, packs small. What more could you want? It's a really great packet trick. And, uh, you know, if you want to learn it, go seek out a copy of The Richard Sanders Show by Richard Sanders. So there you go, guys. That's another Hidden Gems in the bag. Do me a favor. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll be back again tomorrow at 6 o'clock with a, with a Magic Live and then at 9 o'clock with another video. We're going to get our magic stuff up tomorrow. And don't forget, if you haven't already done so, please go ahead and join the, Met the Netrix, www.thenetrix.com. Uh, go and join it immediately and see what all the fuss is about. And I'll be back again soon. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for checking out Magic TV. Please like, follow and share. I'll see you again. My name's Craig from Magic TV. Mm -hmm.